Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously you guys are excited. Uh, yeah, that's a tough team over there. You know, uh, we knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, but, I, I, you know, when you play at Dallas Stars when you're fifth, I mean, it's obviously a feather in the guys' caps. You know, they, uh, they deserve a lot of praise right now. How good do you feel for Guillaume Breezeball? Yeah, that was big. You know, we talked about getting the, the D up in the play. That was a great play. Um, the whole play, I mean, you know, that's a big goal for us to, to kind of loosen up the pressure. I know you haven't been here very long, but you get a sense for the, the kind of player and the kind of person he is when you see how happy guys were for him. Yeah, the whole bench was – Yeah, I, I see a lot of that lately. Guys are happy for each other. That's, that's, that's a good thing when you have – that's good teammates, when you have people happy for other people. So tonight, it, it wasn't just Brisbane, uh contributing from, yeah. say, the bottom of the line. You get an assist from Willanen and Amon sets up the goal and Di Giuseppe scores another. These are all guys who have spent time. In the HL, what does that tell you? Or what does that you? Yeah, I, I, you know, obviously, uh, you know, I got affection with those guys. Those guys are trying to make the NHL, right? And uh, they've bought in right away. You know, they're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Uh, but the next next shift or the next practice, they pick themselves up. I love that about them. Um, the PKs got better, and you know, I thought Juleson had a really good second half. Like he was a guy that uh, thought his play was getting better. There was some tough spots a few, you know, three, four games ago, but I've, I've seen him get better, and I thought his penalty kill was great. So, you know, to win in this league, you have to your bench has to contribute, and we're getting it from everybody. What do you think they're doing right down in Abbotsford to get these guys prepared? <clears throat> well, I think they got great coaching down there. I really, uh, Jeremy and uh, Gary Agnew. I, I know Ags from back in the day. Um, just solid guys, you know. And the Twins are helping. Uh, you know, they're down there every practice. I mean, you could tell they're doing the right stuff down there. Um, and it's, it's obviously helps me when guy, you bring guys up and they know what they're doing. You talked to Brock, or you talked about Brock the other day, saying that he needs to be more consistent, needs to get into the forecheck a bit more. He says that you also communicated that message to him. What did you see from him in that area today? Yeah, I, I've seen the last couple of games, I've seen some stuff that um, we need him to do. There's a couple of wall battles he won. Um, near the end, he made a play the other night um, when the pressure was on. That was a great play to Millsy tonight. So. You know, he's the type of guy, if he could just, you know, he's got to get a little bit better on the forecheck and just win those. You know, I don't need him to win every wall battle, but just participate in that. He's a, he could be a really good player for us. You know, like we said, the pass is a pass. I don't care what, what's happened in the past with him. He's a, he could be a very good player with him. But, you know, I think this is a big summer for him, too, uh, coming in uh, to next year. There's a lot of good that's been happening, but some would suggest that it's a lot easier to do what you're doing right now yeah. as a team, given the fact that there is no pressure. Uh, what, do you, what do you make of that? I mean, I, you can't, we can't, you know, we can't win for losing. You know, we lose, they'll, they'll be pissed, you win. You, I, I really don't care. We, we come every day. I know what I got to do as a coach. Um, and that's to, to, to get the best out of each player, uh, put a team system together, to create an atmosphere. That's my job. Uh, and the players have bought in. And, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. I mean, I, I can't, uh, that's a hard answer. You know, how do I answer that? What, what do you think of the... What do you think of the takeaways that are sustainable for next year? Yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. You know, I've, I've read it. You know, you know, I haven't been here, but you, you know, they, they somehow they have a push at the end when it doesn't matter. I mean, I've heard it it's last couple. Of years. I think it's the last couple of years, right? You know, we got to change that narrative. It's, it's up to us to change that narrative. So three-two game going into yeah. third against a very good road team, and I think you gave up five shots until the late power play. What is how pleased were you with the third period? <clears throat> Yeah, I just like the way, you know, uh, I, I, I knew when I came in here, we, we, you know, I talked to you guys about it, we had to defend the puck. You know, obviously, you know, you want to be creative. And I think we've been really creative in the offensive end. It's not like we've taken, you know, I've taken anything away from the creativity. It's just defend the puck. We defend the puck harder. You know, we're blocking shots. Um, you know, guys that aren't the best defensive guys are, are participating in, in, in that. And it's confectious, right? Um, you know, that's what I like to see. You know, a guy blocking a shot. Uh, that usually doesn't block it. You hear our bench screaming like they love that stuff. So it's uh, you know you get in this league you got to you got to win defending the puck. You just can't you know you can't get in shootouts and win. You know, the odd the odd night yes, but consistently the best teams defend the puck well. You talk about Besser potentially being a very good player for you guys. Yeah. Do you think he needs to be a goal scorer to be that player because he gets three assists tonight and. You're talking about board battles, not necessarily scoring goals. No, I mean he's listen, he's an offensive guy. Um, I just need him to play, you know, a 200 foot game. Uh, you know, concentrate on that too, and he, and he, I think he's trying to do that, you know, and you know he's, uh, you know, like I said, there's a couple of big plays the last couple of games he's made. He can make those plays.
seems like you've created a lot of offense for guys being relentless on the forecheck of yeah. late. What does that do for buy-in when guys <clears throat> see the results that the forecheck? Yeah, the forecheck's been good, and I, to me, the tracking, uh, the back checking, is something that we can control as a team. Like I think we've been doing a really good job on the back check, and that to me is effort. You know. Uh, and the guys know that it's just not me making them accountable. They know if you know a guy doesn't back check, he's not hustling, he's probably going to miss a shift. It's just the way it is. And the players, the players will come off and they'll tell the guy, "Hey, come on, you got to get back." So it's not just me being uh, the players accountable. It's the players making themselves accountable. And that's big. Sounds like you've got a bench full of coaches now. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh well, yeah. No, they listen. You got to empower your leadership group. I, w- I told you guys when I first came here. You know that leadership group's got to. You know, I think Quinn Hughes' leadership has just been through the roof the last six weeks. Like, he's vocal. You know, obviously, Millsy's Millsy and, and Petey. Petey's been very vocal uh, coming in the office, you know, talking. Like, I, I love that stuff. You know, it's, it's, their, it's their room. It's not mine. So uh, you got to give them the torch every once in a while. You double-shifted Petey at one point. Mm-hmm. You sat, you sat for a bit. Was that more to get Petey going? Or maybe no, no, no. No, I just, uh, you know, just wanted to get Petey a little bit of time there. Um and get them with the the, the Kratzy and uh, Posse. Just I do that every once in a while. I try to do that, a shift. I like Ken Hitchcock used to do that. He'd, he'd put the no. I, I like that. They, they, he'd put his best centerman with the fourth line guys. I like that.